As you might know, one of my hobbies besides taking videos for YouTube is taking photos as well. And more and more I discovered that I'm in the last couple of years using smartphones for this, just like the P50 Pocket here that I have in my hands. What I want to show you right now in this video is a comparison between the P50 Pocket and the Huawei P50 Pro and why I think the P50 Pro, especially the monochrome lens, is something that gives you versatility that you somehow miss on a normal everyday photo camera and that you can have in your pocket right now. So we want to do a comparison between the monochrome camera, the dedicated monochrome camera on the P50 Pro against the P50 Pocket's normal camera when I just simply remove the color of it. So let's get started. For accessing the monochrome mode you can go in your more settings and then you have the uh, monochrome mode there and that's it. Even though the P50 Pocket doesn't have a monochrome camera, if you go to your camera app and you go under more, you can find a monochrome option that is available here on the P50 Pocket as well. So let's take a look at the photos and uh, be aware that what you will see here is simply nuances that are really, really different between the P50 Pocket um, monochrome mode and the P50 Pro's monochrome mode where the P50 Pro uses the monochrome lens mm, yeah all the time the P50 Pocket just uses the main lens and then just deletes the color so we have to really look and pixel peep and look into the details when you take a look at this photo here what do you see a little bit of brighter exposure as it seems on the P50 Pocket and if you go closer you will see it's not only brighter exposure, there's more contrast to it, there's more sharpening going on. Just take a look at the trees here and take a look at the trees here, or the uh, branches of the tree actually. And take a look at the window and the reflection. You can see it's much brighter here and it's much more, there are much more nuances difference. There's more micro contrast, more tonality in the reflection of the picture where you can see the sky a little bit. You can see the clouds where here it is almost washed out and not visible at all. And yeah, those contrasts, those micro contrasts, those tonality differences you can also see here at the side where it gets a little bit unsharp on the P50 Pocket already. Let's take a look down here. And uh, it's a bit of more sharpening going on. You definitely can see this. And just take a look at this night lamp here. Much more detail on the P50 Pro than on the P50 Pocket. So there's also a difference. And when it comes to colors in general, not much of a difference that you can find here. And this is also shown by this photo here. Again, a little bit brighter exposure here on the P50 Pocket and a bit more cooled, darked down, but more tonality as well in the P50 Pro. We can see it looks more sharper on the P50 Pocket because everything is like a bit sharpened up um, for some reason, where the P50 Pro has not so not so sh sharp picture basically, uh, but it's not like pleasantly unsharp, unple yeah, unpleasantly unsharp or something like this. It is just simply not as sharp. There's not much sharpening going on, I think, with the P50 Pro where the P50 Pocket has its default sharpening algorithm turned on. When it comes to details here and levels, you can see it appears to be more detail on the P50 Pocket, but it's just like because the sharpening filter was running through it. And yeah, there's not much of a difference. It's very hard to see the difference here between the monochrome sensor and the, the P50 Pocket's um, normal color sensor where you take away the color. But here you can see it, I think, more clearly. Also tonality differences again. You can see it's a bit darker, a tad darker, darker on the P50 Pocket. The P50 Pocket is going the route where it's having more contrast, so more darker areas, more brighter areas. And the P50 Pro has more yeah, grayish kind of uh, nuances in the darker areas and the brighter areas. You can see it. 
depth so which gives you a little bit more of um, yeah, differences between colors that are usually there that the p50 pocket doesn't have so take a look at the wall here it's yeah brightened up on the p50 pocket a lot more brighter than on the p50 pro uh, but the clouds you can see the clouds are a bit darker on the p50 pocket granted there's a little bit of a difference in how i took the photo but still this is what you can see here and when you take a look at the direct comparison here again there's sharpening applied on the p50 pocket that we don't see so much on the p50 pro with the monochrome lens and uh, yeah when it comes to nuances when it comes to um, different grays that you can see you can see clearly a bit more on the p50 pro than on the p50 pocket nevertheless both do a good job and it's very hard to distinguish them and yeah it's almost impossible like take this photo here even if i zoom in it's very hard to see a difference you can see when you really clearly look at it there is a tonality difference on the apples when you compare them with the p50 pocket where again it has like more the divide in between black and white and here we have much more in between black and white like the different grays the different um yeah nuances of gray and black and uh, not completely white that you can see here on the p50 pro even though it's not so sharp because there's no sharpening extra applied it is um in general the p50 pro even in the zoomed out stage is a bit more pleasant to look at especially if you compare a lot of photos like i did and uh, but the p50 pocket is not doing a bad job here you can see almost no difference you really have to pixel peep to see what the difference is a bit more detail here in this uh, front lamp of this scooter and maybe the side scooter as well let's see yeah it's very hard to see but there's probably yeah a little bit of more nuances that are micro contrast that is better but you can also see like let's take a look at the seat here in the background much more details on the p50 pocket um, sharpening up you can see yeah less details here on the p50 pro that might be also due to the fact that the p50 pro has a larger sensor or in general is softer the monochrome lens is softer and doesn't have any sharpening filter applied as the p50 pocket has um, other pictures i just can take a look at details and don't notice any uh, to be honest here it looks a little bit like brighter on the p50 pocket and a bit more yeah as if there was a bit more yellow in the picture and here it looks a bit more cooled down maybe a bit darker on the p50 pro but not much of a difference even if i zoom in on the other hand if you take a look at this one you can clearly see again the tonality differences and the sky differences as you can see here the sky is much brighter it's darker here uh, we have more contrast definitely in the building as you can see here black and white and if you compare it with the p50 pro you can see much more tonality first of all it doesn't look so over sharpened as the p50 pocket that tries to compensate something here that it cannot reach and then we have the very harsh contrast between very dark and very light and you don't have this here on the p50 pro they are also darker areas just like here for example but the rest like the windows which is dark here it has this like lighter kind of gray um darker gray i would say and then lighter grays as well so there's more tonality there's more um 3d depth of field i would say on the p50 pro thanks to the real monochrome lens instead of just taking the colors away of a normal lens so this is what you can definitely see in the pictures but you really have to pixel peep otherwise you don't notice these differences and uh, here again the same thing if i zoom in on this old camera here that was uh, shown in this little shop you can see it's a little bit darker in general there's more contrast on the p50 pocket less contrast on the p50 pro when it comes to sharpness here in details there's sharpening applied on the p50 pocket this is why it seems to be a bit sharper but in general they are both doing a very great job to show the schneider kreuznach lens here with all its setting settings and so on a very interesting uh, lens and camera 
Uh, what, what about nighttime? What about dark conditions? This is now not completely dark condition, but like a little bit light going in. Uh, here, the opposite happens because the P50 Pocket has the better algorithms, of course, and the better normal camera for taking nighttime photography. You get pretty sharp and good results here without much of uh, noise going on. On the P50 Pro, however, it's a bit of shake here and much more noise going on. So it's harder to read stuff, just like, for example, the top of here. You can see the difference in sharpness. Sharpness, of course, applied on the P50 Pocket, like we learned before. But also, in general, I think the lens is better optimized for darker conditions. So the only other thing that you can see is that the true monochrome lens has a brighter exposure here, not so dark as... Uh, so the brighter spots are brighter exposed than on the P50 Pocket. So this is my, might be like a difference as well. Close-up shots here. Again, the P50 Pro and the P50 Pocket. Here, interestingly enough, the P50 Pro managed to take sharper shot. Uh, there's a bit of fine blur on the P50 Pocket for some reason. And uh, both are focusing at the same spot here. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can see when you have them side by side. Do you see a difference here? There's a bit of more brightness going on in the P50 Pocket, I would say. This sharpening applied on the P50 uh, on the P50 Pro. The brightness is higher. Uh, the sharpness applied on the pocket. Uh, you can see that maybe a tiny bit of more details on the P50 Pocket. But uh, yeah, it's very hard to see. And if you have them side by side, you don't see much of a difference. The only difference is you see where I think that the P50 Pro has a slightly larger um, um, sensor is that I had to take this a few centimeters further away than on the P50 Pocket where I could get a bit closer to the flower to get it relatively sharp. Maybe it should have backed up a little bit but this is I think sharp and uh, otherwise it looks very very similar. So the monochrome lens as good as it might have been in the past Nowadays, with those large sensors, even in the P50 Pocket, for example, and the good algorithms that we have to create monochrome images, you don't notice such a big difference. You really have to pixel peep, and you really like to, like to have micro contrast. You really like to take a good monochrome uh, photos. Otherwise, you don't really notice much of a difference. What do you think about this comparison? And do you still use monochrome cameras? on smartphones or in real life and what you think about them and uh, yeah write it down in the comment section that is basically everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching until the next time bye